everybody, CW here. Okay, let's get on to the next step. We got the stock, and here it is. I chose the green. I'm not a big fan of FDE, even though I got a number of them that are. That's just the way they came. All the uh, ranch models come with this FDE. I chose the green like the Predator. The only part that I'm not so keen on, if I line this up here, is the length of this forend. This has only got a 16 inch barrel. Now I've got this long linear comp on here that'll, it'll probably look okay, but without it, it looks kind of stumpy dumpy. You know, the barrel only sticks out like four inches past the end of the stock. And that's the only part I wasn't really keen on. But uh, this stock is, this stock is incredible. What you're looking at in here is an aluminum bedding block. And those big pockets are for the for the uh, for the bedding lugs that engage the action. This is what the action sits in. Two of these. One goes in the front. And another one goes in the back. And these engage the action. We pull the action out of the other stock. And it comes with new bolts. And it comes with uh, some spacers to change your length of pull. They go back here under the, under the pad. And then this cheek riser can be changed as well, but those you have to buy. So I think this is medium, although that looks tall to me. I'm not sure because this was a this was a used stock. Um, the guy that had it before me already put the studs in it. That was not smart. I lost my lugs. Put the studs in it, and this one here he did okay. Although I probably would have done this one back here. I probably will do that one too. But when he did this one back here, he didn't center it, and it's not centered, and it doesn't screw in all the way. So I'm probably gonna. Pull that out and make sure that it's solid in there. I may have to epoxy it in or something. But we'll see. But I also like the single point cups that you can put in here. And I'll probably add those in. But it gives you a very ergonomic grip. It's a really, really nice fitting stock, feeling stock. I've got these on both my takedown and my um, 1022s. And I've got these on my shotguns as well, because they make this buttstock for shotguns. So again, I can't show you this install because YouTube won't allow it. But I will take you along for the ride as much as I can. The Oh, I forgot to even mention here, the biggest part of the difference, and the reason that I jump for this now, is right here. This is a American... Obviously a, a hunter, rather, not American. This is a Magpul hunter stock. But this, they call it bottom metal, but it's plastic, is what makes the difference. This is not an AICS magazine well. This is for an AR-15 magazine. See the lever there on the inside? It's manipulated back here just like an AICS mag. But it's, it's tripping the lever inside there to release the mag. And that's the change. That's the new part that makes this work. Because the if you remember anything about these stocks, the problem with them for the short action AR-15 magazines was the short AICS magazines were in the beginning non-existent. And then only a couple companies or one company made them and they were expensive. And then there was feed problems, so they it was just a big fiasco with the AR-15 magazines. So this fixes it, and it's called the um, STNAR, as in Standard AR Magazine. And uh, I'm pretty excited to get it on here. So let me get the camera up above, and I'll take you along as I go. Again, I can't show you. But it's pretty simple. You take the two action screws out, take your action out of your old stock, you set your old stock aside, 
you put your blocks in here, you put your action in here, you put the bolts in here, and then you come back afterwards and you put your bottom metal in and then you're done. So I'll bring you back when it's all assembled and we'll have a look at it. Stand by. All right, there it is. Pretty simple, very straightforward, no problems at all. Uh, the one thing I will tell you, I will advise you, is to get yourself an inch pounds, not foot pounds, inch pounds torque wrench. Because, and you're going to read in your instructions, the torque rating for the action bolts, not these two here, the two that are in here underneath this, they need to be torqued to a certain level. And uh, it's very important for accuracy and consistency. If they're too loose, it's like you have a scope, a scope mount that's too loose or a scope ring that's too loose. It's going to let the gun move around inside the action and it's not going to be good for accuracy. And uh, too tight can cause things to bind. So there's a recommended amount. And I know what I use, but I don't want to tell you because your gun may be different. Um, if you look on my old piece... My old, I'm going to call it bottom metal because that's what it's called, but it is plastic. See, I wrote 50. I found that 50 inch pounds was the proper torque for these screws to hold the stock to the action for best accuracy. So I believe it's higher for this stock because you've got aluminum. This one was all plastic. So you're, you're compressing plastic. There's a little bit of metal in there. It's still plastic. Where this one here, it's all metal. Aluminum bedding block, everything's metal. This is plastic, but we're not talking about torquing this. We're talking about torquing the bolts that are inside here. Not this screw, this screw underneath. Um, it gives you a really big channel for free float. You've seen... People take a dollar bill and run it underneath the barrel to show that the barrel is not touching the stock. Well, this one here, you could probably do, do a stack of 20, 20, 20 dollar bills, and it would still slip and fit between this barrel and the stock. So there's no chance of this barrel touching anything. Um, I've checked the bolt. The bolt clears. Everything's fine. The safety works. The safety stops the trigger. I will tell you that the magazine is stiff to come in and out. I don't want to pull it in and out because I don't want to violate any rules. Sorry, I hit the camera with my hat. I don't want to violate any rules of YouTube. They're kind of funny about taking things on and off, putting things in and out of firearms. I know it seems silly. Um, we're perfectly safe here. There's no ammunition and no one else present. But, uh, you know, we all know they do funny things, so... We're going to try and abide by their rules and not pull that magazine out. But it's stiff to go in and out. It works, and it does go in and out, but it's kind of stiff. I am going to probably drill and tap this. No tap, just drill it. Put another stud in there, and I'm going to take this stud out and look at it. You can see there's a crack there. It's not really a crack. It's where the seam of the plastic comes together. And you can see that this does not screw all the way down. This was a used stock. I bought this used. I got it for a really good price because it was used. And uh, somebody else drilled these. Now, Magpul gives you dimples of exactly where to drill for these studs if you want to put the studs in. So the fact that this one is nicely centered is because there's a dimple there. The fact that this one is off-center and crooked... I don't know what to say because there was a dimple there and you know if you can't drill a hole straight on the dimple that's given to you from the factory maybe you shouldn't be drilling holes and step away from the tools because you're not uh, you're not versed on their use so I'm gonna have to take that out and see what's going on I pulled and tugged on it and it's pretty solid I think it would be okay and I'm not necessarily overly OCD but you know I still like things to be right so I'm going to pull that out, and there's not a lot I can do about it being crooked, except 
fill it with epoxy, pinch it, fill it with epoxy and re-drill it. I don't know that that's really necessary, but I am going to pull it out and see why it doesn't thread all the way down and make sure there's nothing funky going on. But then that'll be it. Um, I did notice that uh, the bolt will not come out because of the, it would impact the riser, cheek riser. But not a big deal because you got one screw. You take this one screw out here and it allows you to remove your butt plate and spacers and then this lifts off allowing the bolt to come out so one screw no big deal i don't pull the bolt out all that often so not a big deal i can live with that and i knew about it going in there we go that's it for this one we got the stock on it feels great looks great i'm gonna have one of these every day probably for the rest of this week and we should be able to finish this up um, before New Year's. So stay tuned. The one thing we're waiting for is the bolt handle. It hasn't come in yet, but we hopefully, hopefully it'll be in before the end of this series and I can get and install this right in line for you. Obviously I'm doing this a little ahead of time. Um, for me, it's not yet Christmas for you guys. It's, uh, the week before Christmas and New Year's. Um, this ought to be coming out, I believe, on Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday, Tuesday, Wednesday. This should be coming out on Thursday. So uh, hopefully, hopefully I will have it by today and uh, tomorrow's video will probably be the scope mounts and over the weekend I'll do the bolt handle. But there we go. God bless everybody. Again, I hope you had a super Christmas. Again, remember this time of year, we got a lot of armed service men and women out there all across the world um, fighting and protecting and guarding on our behalf. So keep them in your thoughts and prayers. If you see them on the street, you see them in the airports, in your travels to see family, stop them, thank them, shake their hands. They really deserve it. They don't see it enough and we need to support them. God bless everybody. CW out.